Well, I guess you could say that Ugg Boots snuck up on the world from humble beginnings in Australia and New Zealand, and it was really weird. Suddenly they were the choice of Hollywood celebrities like Sarah Jessica Parker, Paris Hilton, and plenty more followed in their footsteps. They like Pamela did. Anderson. Yeah, Pammy made them mm. really famous, didn't she? But no one's doubting that Ugg Boots are comfortable, but would you believe they can be bad for you. With more on that, Brendan Brown from the Australian Podiatry Association. G'day, Brendan. Hi, G'day. Brendan. They How look so you? harmless, mate. What's wrong with them? <laughs> look, first of all, I've got to tell you my extreme concern about coming on the show and even getting on the show and bagging out the Ugg boot. I'm concerned yeah, you about... Yeah, you tread carefully. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to tread carefully. I'm concerned about death threats and things like that because taking on the Ugg boot in Australia yep. is like taking on the Mike Tyson of all shoes because people just love these shoes. So yeah. what's worrying about them? Um, look, I suppose, in moderation, there's not too much. The concern is, is if, you know, you're wearing them all the time, you're wearing them down the shops, or you're trying to do, like, strenuous activity in them, you really need to consider that you've got your crazy pants on because they're not good for you. Why is that? Because they're bad for your feet? Yeah, look, they're not providing a great deal of support. Most feet, you know, require some support these days. We're, over years, we've become used to um, a, a shoe that is quite controlling and quite supportive. And so these shoes go quite against that where they have no support whatsoever. So these days, it's probably better to wear a shoe that, you know, can I grab this? that has a little bit of support around yep. the heel, uh, is laced up, and that, if you're going to go out shopping in it, is, is much better for you than the Uggy. All right, now you've brought in some yeah. feet, or some bones. <laughs> yes. Now, the, this is, can we see from this uh, what, where the Ugg boot goes wrong okay, for some people? Okay, so, the dear old Uggy goes wrong here. What happens is, is, is this is the arch of, arch of your foot. So when you're walking, most shoes now have a little bit of an arch and they provide some support there. Unfortunately, what the Uggy does is it has nothing in the arch at all, and also around the heel, because it's so big, soft, it's lovely and warm, but it's, it, it's not holding here, it's really soft. So it's not controlling your foot, not providing you with the support you need. Some of these Ugg boots seem to have a bit of support built into the heel, but a lot of people sort of tend to fall back over the heel. I know. And it's time to chuck them away at that yeah. stage, is it, when the, when the foot is actually over yeah. the heel Apart of the Apart from looking terrible, they're not doing you much good either. So so throw them out when, they're, when you're starting to wear over the heels because indeed any of the Ugg boots don't have a huge amount of support. If you look at that compared Pivotal. to that, and that's what we're used to wearing now. We, mm -hmm. we wear these shoes five days out of seven. Now, how do they compare to high heels? Because I wear pretty high heels yeah. most yeah. days. Would I be better off in an Ugg boot or worse off? Uh, Depends I, where you're going, Layla. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, are, are you going to the shops, Layla, or are you... Uh, a cocktail party. Yeah, a cocktail yeah. party in Ugg boots. <laughs> I, I, I think the fashion faux pas may be there. But I, indeed, I, I, I think in general, you, you're better off in a lower heel than you are in the Uggy. Just don't do it a lot. Wear it, wear it in winter and wear it when you want to feel warm, but just don't wear it down the shops. I, I guess what you're getting at, Layla, is that high heels are known to be dangerous. And we wear them every day. And we wear them every day well, anyway. You, well, Absolutely. So uh, where, where on the scale of danger does the Ugg boot fall? Actually, in fact, I would agree with you that the Ugg boot is fairly low on danger scale. <laughs> um, so you, you're, more li you're less likely, I should say, to have an accident in an Uggy, but you're more likely to do long term Can damage. I ask you if they're hygienic? Because you know how people no. always wear them around the place, especially out of the shower, and yeah. then get a bit of uh, I moisture when, in there? Yeah, I remember when I was in 14 and I had a pair of Ugg boots that was so bad on school camp that my teacher threw them out on me. <laughs> and that was purely because I'd worn them forever and they absolutely reeked. Now the problem is when they get to that point is the fungus is just growing while they're having a little cocktail party oh. of their own inside <laughs> there. Um, and, and that really is a real problem. They don't breathe very well. Sheepskin doesn't breathe very well from the inside out um, and so you really are creating a, a bit of a fungus cocktail. So wear them moderately yeah. in the privacy of your home and replace them when yeah. they start to get a little off. Absolutely. Let's not throw out the Ugg boot. It's an Australian tradition but just wear them in moderation and yeah, get to the point where you in fact can, can sniff them. They're that's still alright. They're still alright. Hey, these, these are Make, you can't leave these behind by any Look, chance, can you? No, I'm They're taking cool. them home. Oh, That's nice. what I wear down the shops, mate. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> All, right. All right, thanks, Brendan. That's Thank great. you very much.